It's often useful to extract part of a series by specifying the range of indices that define the data to be included. However, it's often more useful to define the data to be extracted by establishing a condition that has to be met by those parts of the series. To understand how that works, let's think a little bit about how a vectorize operation would work, which resulted in values that are Booleans. One example of this is to determine which values start with a particular letter. The method for determining this operates on an attribute of the series, which makes the strings within that series available. So this expression here will determine for each item in the series whether it starts with the letter A or not. So in this case, Arizona and Alaska start with the letter A. So in the series that results from this vectorized operation, the values for Arizona and Alaska are true and the values for the other states are false. Let's see how we can use the results to slice out the values of the series that start with the letter A. In the previous examples, we passed into the square brackets of LOAT either a list of indices or a range of indices that defined the parts of the series that we wanted to slice. However, we can also pass in Booleans for the corresponding values that we want to include. If we pass in the series that resulted from this vectorized Boolean operation, then those values are used to determine which ones are part of the slice. Since the values were true for Arizona and for Alaska, they are included in the output series, but the other states are not. This generates another series that contains the same corresponding label indices as in the original series, but that includes only the ones that correspond to Boolean values of true. Let's see how this works in real life. Here I have a condition that's a little bit simpler. Is the value of the item in the series equal to Tennessee? We see that only the second value is true and the rest of them are false. Here's the condition that we were testing in the diagram. Does each of the values start with the letter A? Arizona and Alaska do, the other ones do not. In this example, I'm passing the condition whether the state values are equal to Tennessee or not into loc inside the square brackets. When I do this, I see that the output only includes the item for Tennessee. In this case, the condition that I'm passing into the square brackets is that each of the items have to start with A, and I see the result is Arizona and Alaska, along with their corresponding label indices. So the output is a series, even if there is only one item included in that series.